This exam application tutorial is on the periodic table. The question for six marks explain what we can learn about an element from its position in the periodic table. So there's loads of information we get from the periodic table. What does it tell us? So what does the group and period number tell us about an atom? And what do the left and right hand side of the periodic table indicate as well? So let's, for this example, look at beryllium, because you might be asked to do this for a specific element. The group number tells us how many electrons are on the atom's outer shell. So beryllium is in group 2, it has 2 electrons on its outer shell. This tells us how reactive the element is. So remember, the closer an atom is to becoming stable, having a complete outer shell, the more reactive it is. So beryllium just needs to get rid of 2 electrons and it will have a complete outer shell and become stable. So it's a very reactive element. The period number tells us how many shells an atom has. So beryllium is in period 2, so it has 2 shells. If the element is on the left-hand side of the table, it is a metal. So remember, this is the dividing line. Everything on this side is a metal, everything on this side is a non-metal. Whereas elements on the right-hand side are non-metals. Elements without a group are transitional metals. So here, all these elements here, they don't have a group number. They're called transitional metals, and they can form coloured compounds. So we can learn all this from just the periodic table alone.